sky high. This young cowboy's having quite a year for himself. Run on, wild horses, run on and be free. I'll take the best one to run under me. God sent me down here to look after you. He'll take me back there whenever I'm through. So run on, run on. Run on, wild horses, run on. So a stallion ran like the wind Finally caught him but never again He's got a spirit that needs to be free So much about him is what I'd like to be Run on Run on Run on Wild horses run on Coming in to change, you're going straight to work. No, no, I'm coming. Well, you better get a move on it. Katie, you better get to that table. You're going to miss the bus. Morning, kids. Good morning. Morning, Superman. Good morning. Did Dean win? Well, he broke his thumb, but he still took a third in the ball riding. Jimmy, you want to pull that fourth lift over here? All right, Tommy, bring it up. Is it loaded? All ready to go. Need another one. All right. Who's going out for coal this evening? Tell me here. Oh, great. The lunch bell rang two and a half minutes ago. Yeah, well, we couldn't hear it out here. If you'd eaten a brand new air-conditioned company cafeteria, you'd hear the bell. I suppose it'd be asking too much to get you to put the bell out here in the fresh air where we do eat. What is it about me that makes you so resent my authority? Authority wedge? Gee, I don't know. Think about that deal about those horses I told you about? Nope. Me, no. Hey, there it is. Wyoming. Land of enchantment. Just for the record, the land of enchantment is New Mexico. Whatever. What do you think? I ain't got to twist your arm, am I? Thanks, Margaret. You bet, Matt. What do you say? I say you're crazy. I can't just pick up and leave. I've got a family and I've got a job. <laughs> right. Sack and sugar beet seeds. Hey, you sure wouldn't want to lose a job like that, would you? Look, it's only two weeks. They pay three fifty a week plus a bonus. Last one of these things they had, the bonus loan was a thousand bucks. Thousand dollars. It's three house payments. And seven of your truck payments. Think about it. It'd be like the old days. I can't go. Come on. See you, Kathy. See you, Matt. Where's your sense of adventure? It's going. That was good, honey. Thanks. Hmm. Matthew got in trouble at school today. What kind of trouble? Well, he got sent to Mr. Gold's office because he wouldn't take his spurs off. Warm to school. And then he was out on the playground roping all the girls. Matthew's a cowboy, and he's the son of a cowboy. And I want him to feel good about himself. 
Why is it the very things that I'm so proud of in these kids, they all keep trying to drum out of? They're good people, Matt. They're just trying to do their job. Can you imagine a room full of third graders all in spurs? Just think. Okay, I'll talk to him. Look at that cloud. Looks like a weasel. You remember when we used to do that? Yeah, I do. Annie, come here. Tell me something. What kind of an animal would you have been if you hadn't been a person? Something pretty. <laughs> I don't know. Swan. How about you? Probably a skunk. Good choice. Hey, somebody bring me about eight feet of that number 42Y. Hey, come down here and look at him. Five man, this belt slip. One, two, three, four. Take it off. Now. What's problem, Wedge? You. In fact, you're the only real problem I've got around here. What is it with you and that silly hat? You know, Cooper, your day has long since passed. You're not any kind of champion around here. This is the work of a world. This is what people grow up and do. And these are against the rules. There are insurance regulations you don't even know about. But you don't need to know about them. All you need to know... I don't believe you just did that. You could have killed me. Mister, you come back here. You hear me? You come back here. You're fired. Do you understand? You can apologize all you want to. It ain't gonna do you any good. You clean out your locker. Well, you just have to talk to him. Now you don't want me to talk to him. He's going to want me to apologize. Oh. Matt, you know where. She has been like this since high school. If you really want your job, all you got to do is call him. How did he ever get to be my boss? I mean, explain. How does that work? I don't know how it works. But, Matt, we can't live like this anymore. You haven't stayed in a job for over a year since we've been married. Year. And when we first got married, we didn't stay in the same city for two days. But that was the rodeo circuit, Matt. That was then. This is now. And you knew that wasn't going to last forever. Oh, here comes the nothing's going to last forever speech. Yeah, don't you and Wedge ever let me forget that, okay? That is really a cheap shot. Don't you put me in with Wedge. I'm on your side. We'll just take the little bit of money that we've got and, and we'll put it down on the Parker place. Oh, are you crazy? Do you know how many ranches go under every year? I mean, what makes you think we're going to be the exception? You know what we're going to do? We're going to lose every nickel we own. I can't believe that I'm hearing this from the world champion cowboy. Oh, you can't. No, I can't. You're always talking about commitments. We can do it, honey. We can do it. Now I'm just hearing excuses. Matt. Did you ever stop to think that maybe this isn't the life that I dreamed of? Well, let's talk about your dreams for a while, okay? I'd like to know, what do you dream about? Oh, Just... It's none of your business, and that's not what we're talking about. I'm not talking about anything anymore. I mean, I'm out of here, okay? Get this thing out of here, too. I'm sick of seeing it. Point four seconds. Nice run, Billy. Yeah, it was uh, it was tough hanging on that old bull after the bone broke, but I guess that was just too determined to win. Gosh, that must have hurt. Well, you know what they say. When it gets too tough for everybody else, it's just right for me. Hey, Dean, let's get out of here. Where are we going? Wyoming. What? <laughs> I got fired. Well, it's about time. What's Sam think? Don't worry about that. You going or not? You sure about this? Damn straight. Okay, partner, we're gone.
What do you say, Hoss? You want to stop for a bite of breakfast? Nah, I'm not very hungry. Next phone you see, I gotta make a call. Yeah, I understand. Hello? Did I wake you up? It's almost nine o'clock. Where are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm in Guyman, Oklahoma. Guess I got a little crazy last night, and Dean and I came up with this harebrained idea. Anyway, I'll be home about five or six, and uh, I think I'm going to call Wedge and apologize. I don't want you to do that. Mom! What are the kids doing? Uh, it's okay, honey. He can wear those. <laughs> Just wait outside for me, okay? Almost ready. They're getting ready for church, and Cody's going armed. Matt, I uh, know about the Roundup, and... I thought about it last night, and I want you to go, because I think that you need to go for both our sakes. Just gonna get it out of my system. Well, you can call it what you want, but uh, you've got to do something, and maybe this is it. You need some time, and I need some time, so you just go, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it really hurt when the bone broke, but I just... Hell alone anyway. Just take the pain. Won first place, though. Really? Yeah, I'll probably go to the national finals. It used to be held in Oklahoma City. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't really matter where they were held. See you later. Look, I love you, okay? I really do. See ya. Yeah, it looks like wild horse round up to popular around here. I wonder how many hands they're gonna need. Let's pull up over here and we'll get a bite to eat and see what's going on. You coming in? I'll, I'll be in a minute. You go on. Matt Cooper! I bet I haven't seen you in 15 years. I think the last time was pressed was 1st of July. Here we sign up. There's a fella right in there taking names. Thanks a lot. Good to see you again. Wild horses and wild women. Hello. Hello. What do you see about this roundup? See the guy at the clipboard. His name's Dick Post. All right, thanks. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I'm new in this town. I'm going, is this a good place to eat? Like steak. Oh, you bet. I love hey, steak. Hey, how you doing? Leland, see my dad? Hi, hon. Yeah, he's in the back. Can be cast. It's okay for chasing girls back home, but look at these guys. It's the real thing. We found out who we need to talk to now. Yeah. You did post? Yeah. Where you from? Texas. You look kind of familiar. Matt Cooper. Dean L. You the Bureau of Land Management? No. But us boys got together and we decided it'd be first come, first serve. You fellas are a little late, but I'll be happy to put you down. You'd be 56 and 57. And how many are you going to use? 20. Like I said, y'all are a little late. Yeah, well, we got kind of tied up. Big backgammon term over there in Monte Carlo, friends. Well, you're on the list. Both of you. Tell you what, don't even put us on your list, okay? Your system doesn't sound too appealing to us. Yeah, there's one thing Matt and me hate it's systems. Oh, yeah. Nice guy. Hey, you see that girl that came in? Yeah, she's my type. I mean, I'm yet to see a girl that wasn't your type. Bill, will you kindly explain to my father that it's tough enough to sell fine art in Wyoming without his interference? Will you tell my daughter that people raise cattle and run ranches in Wyoming? They don't run these high flutin' art galleries. Maybe I should move. What you should do is come back to the place and work with me the way your mother did. My grandmother used to get okay, up Okay, whoa, Chuck, you know. It's a new day. I'm not my mother. And I'm certainly not your grandmother. Now, we do... Oh, so it looks like we're going to have a real good crowd for a roundup. Yes, sir. I'm sure glad I got the application in early. All right, boys, don't push. We're going to do this orderly. Everybody will get a chance. We made up a list. 
Well, fine. Those men and women on this list will be interviewed first, in order, and then everybody else. Hi, Ed. How you doing? I'll tell you what. I'll get out of here. Hi there. How are you? You're Matt Cooper, aren't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sit down. I'm a big rodeo fan. I was in Laramie the day you broke your leg. You may have to narrow that down a bit. I've broken a lot of legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get down to business here. First question. You do ride the horse, don't you? If it's a real emergency. Nice visiting with you, Matt. Thanks, Bill. Guess I better press on the next man. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Bill. This is Matt Cooper, the one and only. Hi, Matt. I'm Daryl Reese. Gee, I'm a big rodeo fan. I used to watch you all the time when I was a kid. Thanks, I think. <laughs> Daryl there, she's a pretty good hand, too. Oh, really? Thanks, Bill. You bet. Daryl. It's nice to meet you, Matt. You pretty good old boy, ain't you? Yeah, he seems nice. Hey, I want to talk to you. What can I do for you? Now, I don't want you to say anything till I'm finished, okay? I want to go. And I want to apply just like everybody else. I'm not asking for preferential treatment. But I can ride as good as anybody. You just said so yourself. I wanted to go from the very beginning, but I just didn't have the gumption to ask. Who knows, Bill? This might be my last chance. <laughs> what? Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Does it? No preferential treatment, huh? Well... Maybe, although. <laughs> Thanks. My luck's still holding out. So far. Let's go again. Where's it? You're Daryl Reese, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, you made it. I did. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I wish I was going with you. I wish you were too. Hi, Marianne. Don't forget to vote. I will. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? I think you're snookered. It's my shot. Well, good luck. Eight ball in the corner pocket. You'll never make that shot. Do it again. No deal, Ed. I've taken enough of your money. I don't like to leave a man broke. Come on, man. I want to see that same shot one more time. Double or nothing. Never make the same shot twice in one day. Someone might figure out how to do it. That guy's pretty hot. Maybe he should have just gone on and taken his money. Kidding, I've never made that shot before in my life. What? But you said that was your favorite shot? It is my favorite shot. I've still never made it before in my life. <laughs> That's great. I love it. So what's the news? Have we posted the names yet? Yeah, they picked you. But I'm one man out. I'm first off. Damn, I was just probably too goofy with that guy that interviewed me. Some people just can't take a job. Get it. it? Needs those three miserable house payments anyway. Get us a bottle. Pick up some stories about how much fun we had here. We'll head on home in the morning. Bartender. See that bottle of whiskey right there? That sucker right here. You think he's okay? Sure, he's all right. You're top, top Miller, aren't you? Yes, sir. I think I broke my shoulder. You Dean Ellis? Yes, sir, I am. Looks like your lucky day, son. He was on the list. Now you are. Woo! Woo! Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Congratulations. Glad you're coming with us. So are we. Hey, thanks a lot, cowboy. <laughs> Now, this year's roundup is going to be run differently than most. And the reason for that is my friend Chuck Reese here. Now, Chuck knows more about running wild horses than most people. So he's asked me to get an approval from Washington to have an old-fashioned Mustang roundup. There's an estimated 2,000 head of horses. He thinks we should only take 25% of them. So our goal is 500 horses. Now, since he's the architect, I'm going to make him give you the ground rules, Chuck. Thank you, Bill. As you know, the wild horse is about the last living part of the Old West. We're going to run this operation in a way that will honor that heritage. These horses are going to be adopted by children and families from all over the country. And I sure wish you'd handle them with care. We're going to be working on public land. We're going to treat it all like it's wilderness area. There'll be no motorized vehicles or machinery of any kind up there. We'll pull a chuck wagon in to feed you and pack your gear into the base camp. And Fresh horses are going to be provided by the cavy when you need them, and I'm sure you're going to. My grandmother used to take me out when I was a kid and show me these Mustangs, and there's nothing I'd like better than to be able to show them to my grandkids. You got a tough job, but... Any horses we leave on the mountain, just make sure you leave them in good shape. Keep my grandkids in mind, will you? That's about it. All right, are there any questions? I'm not gonna see that very often. Pulling a chuck wagon. Man, this is key. Yes, sir, that's me. Bob Hyken. How's it going, Bill? You must be Chuck Reese. That's right. Pleasure. Well, it certainly is beautiful up here. Yeah, it is. What can I do for you? Well, sir, you can grab your fishing rod and head for your favorite spot. I'm your replacement, Bill. Washington thought it'd be a good idea if I started a little early, took over the roundup. Well, that just doesn't make sense. I've been... Hey, it's Washington, Bill. We both know it ain't gonna make sense. Look, they're doing it for me. I know that. I got some pretty big shoes to fill. Not that I even think it's possible. I, I tried talking them out of it, but hey, take a look at this, Bill. Your first retirement check. Not bad, huh? I don't know. Look, I know it's a dumb move, but I'm afraid it's out of our hands, Bill. I would appreciate a few introductions, though, before you take off. All right. I do want the transition to go smooth. 
I care a lot about what we've been trying to do up here. I know exactly what you mean, Bill. Thanks. I really mean that. So, I gotta head back into town. I'll be up at the base camp later tonight, okay? See ya. Something about this just don't seem right, does it? Not one bit. I want to make a couple of calls to voice and see what the hell's going on. Here he comes! Stand up, Captain! Stand up! Move, Leroy! this for the world. What's <laughs> <laughs> your idea of a mud pack? Oh, you know, they say this stuff is good for your complexion, but they're going to have to sell me on it. <laughs> How about a ride? <laughs> You're a brave man, Matt Cooper. <laughs> you can ride if you don't touch me. <laughs> what about your saddle? You want to get it? <laughs> I think we just buried that sucker at sea. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Exciting stuff for cargo. <laughs> What'd you find out? Oh, hell, my friend's got an agricultural seminar going in India. Been gone for two months. Uh, ain't nobody seems to know how this hiking deal came about. But it is official. Well, you're just gonna have to live with it. Whoa. Look at him. He 
He's the man, all right. He's letting us know we're on his mountain. So, what do you think of Doc's Raven? Who? Well, that's not his registered name. Registered name? Yeah, he's one of the best bred horses from around these parts. What's he doing on the mountain? Old Doc Thurm raised him as a colt. In fact, had him entered at the futurity at Rio Doso. But about a year before the race, Doc got sick. That old man loved these wild horses as much as my dad does. So just before he died, he turned him loose, figuring that he'd improve the herd. You're sure right about that. Well, this sure beats second sugar beet seeds, don't it, Matt? Is that what you do? Not anymore. Riders loped on past him, he heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell or riding on a range, then cowboy, change your ways today, or with us you will ride. Trying to catch that devil's herd across these endless skies. If the I It is great. I mean, here we are, cowboys, singing around a campfire, eating beans. <laughs> beans? What's wrong with beans? You got something against beans? No, I, I love them. They're perfect. <laughs> I've always liked beans. About as much as anything. <laughs> you did it now. Hey, Matt, why don't you do a song now? Spell me, Matt. Come on. Yours is about the Old West, and this is more about a modern cowboy. Couples kept swaying, the smoke made it so hard to see. The cowboy was drinking, but she just kept thinking, God, he looked so good to me. So she walked on over, put her hand on his shoulder, said, Cowboy, where have you been? Thanks. Off to Montana, back to Wyoming, and it looks like I'm riding. Cowboys will always be eight-second heroes, risking their life for the bell. Drinking rye whiskey, chasing fast women, God knows they're all bound for hell. <laughs> so the cowboy said, darling, why don't you tell me, what could be in this for you? Surely you're not even thinking about marriage when I've got more right to do. She said, hold on now, Slick. Maybe I should warn you. You're not the first cowboy I've known. And now that I'm looking at your broken body, maybe I'll just go. Cowboys will always be eight-second heroes, risking their life for the bell. Drinking rye whiskey, chasing fast women, God knows we're all bound for hell. And the band And the band Well, that's a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, stranger, no vehicles allowed up here. I'm Bob Hyken. <laughs> so what? Bill Ward? Is that here? Maybe he's a friend of Ward's. 
Folks, there's been a change in management. It seems that somebody in Washington has decided that I should step down a little early and make room for my replacement here. This is him, Bob, what'd you say your name was? Hiking. Hiking. Well, you'll be taking orders from him from now on. So I'll, I'll be seeing you. I guess it's your show now. Thanks, Bill. Chuck. That's a fine man there. He's done a lot of really good things up here. I just hope I can begin to measure up. Now, if you folks will give me a chance, I think you'll find I'm a pretty good guy to work with. I just want you all to know, anybody's got any questions, suggestions, anything at all, just speak right up. Let me know. Take care of yourself, Bill. Hey, Ryan. Hang in there, Ryan. Well, uh, you've all put in a hard day's work, so I guess that's it. I'll see you all in the morning. Thanks. I really mean that. Oh, yeah, um, Dick Post? Yeah. Could I talk to you for a minute over here? Gentlemen? Ladies. I've been checking up on you, Post. Is that right? That's right. I think you and I might be able to do a little business. What kind? Washington wants more horses. The war didn't go like that. This isn't Ward's operation anymore. It's mine. Yeah, Bill's a nice old guy. Nobody wants to hurt his feelings, so that's why we're going to handle this kind of quietly. How many horses? 500 extra. Not for adoption, for a transplant program. There'll be $2,000 in it for you. Extra kick, come bonus time for each of your men. Can you handle it? Quietly? Sure. Quiet as a mouse. Good. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. I just came out to check on these horses. It just feels like something's blowing in. Yeah, it does. Now, you're a pretty good singer for a bull rider. Oh, really? Yeah. You're a very good roper for an art dealer, too. <laughs> Why, thank you. You know, I just can't quit thinking about that stallion we saw this afternoon. He was really something. Yeah. A lot of good cowboys have been trying to catch him over the years. But he's still here. You've been around here all your life? Yep, born and raised. Except when I went away to college. But you've traveled a lot. Yeah, too much probably. So, what, you're settled down in Texas now? Yeah, we've been there about uh, 10 years. Hmm. Well, maybe we should uh, head on back. Okay.
Terrific! There must be, I don't know what, a hundred horses in here? That's great! Congratulations! Cowboy, he could rope you bet. Said the horse he couldn't catch, you had not heard of yet. But the boys all told him of an old black horse, sort of an old outlaw. Down around the chaparral, the bottom of the draw. You gotta be pretty tough to bathe in this water so early in the morning. <laughs> Shoot, ma'am, I'm a cowboy. I signed on to be tough. Italian has a heart the size of a wash tub. And I almost had him. Just being out there with him, though, reminded me so much. You really miss the old days, don't you? The old days on the circuit? You mean being bucked off in the dirt and broken bones and teeth knocked out? Going to the hospital, losing blood, operations? Yeah, I miss those good old days. Oh, I know. The tortured life of a rodeo rider. <laughs> you loved it. I'll bet you remember every bull. Oh, I don't remember everyone. But there's one in particular I do remember. It was 1967, Oklahoma City. National Finals. Did your dad ever tell you about a bull called Tornado? Sounds familiar. He was a twister. Seven years, nobody could ride him. Bucked off over 200 men in a row. Average time, maybe three seconds. I mean, it was out to shoot in the dirt. He could sunfish like a horse. Sunfish? When he bucked, he'd throw that old belly up to the sky. Most unpredictable animal I've ever seen. He actually scared me just to be around him. Yeah. That was a piece of rodeo history that night. The longest eight seconds I've ever seen. And it took the great Matt Cooper to ride him. 
Oh, hell no, girl. Took the great Freckles Brown to do it. He was 46 years old. I just sat there watching with 10,000 people screaming. I mean, it was king. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Cooper, you sure are cute when you're excited. Cute? Post. What's the count? 48 head for the day. That's down from yesterday, and yesterday was down from the day before. That's no good. What's the problem? We're having to go higher for each horse. Stallions moving them up the mountain. Maybe I picked the wrong man. I'll take care of it. You'll meet your quota. Good. Good. That'll do the trick. Let's get out of here. That's fresh blood, Matt. Yeah, I've seen several like that. Gentlemen and ladies, could I have your attention, please? I'd just like to say thanks to all of you for a good week's work. To show my appreciation, I'd like to invite you all to a little party I'm throwing tonight down at the lodge. Now, there'll be free food and drinks. And I've also invited several of the local ladies to join us. Now, I know we haven't met our quota yet, but I have every confidence that... It's Chuck and Bill. appreciate the gesture, but I gotta tell you that you're hanging around here tends to undermine my authority. That's too bad about you and your authority. I don't want to have to call Washington. Look, this I've got a lifetime invested in this country and these horses. Ain't no one piece of paper gonna change it. Don't misunderstand me, Bill. I'm just trying to do the best job possible. I sure hope you'll be coming to the party tonight. I'll be there. <laughs> It really hurt when I felt the bone break, but I just held on anyway. Gosh, I don't see how you could stand it. Pure determination, that's what it takes. Shoot, if I hadn't won that event, Matt and me couldn't afford to come up here. Come on, Dean, your partner says he's wore out, so you're elected. You're on. Hey, excuse me, babe. Hey, not me alive. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Did you see how many of those horses are coming in here with wire cuts? I saw several. You know what they're doing, don't you? If you ask me, someone's setting trip wires to injure those lead mares. You bet they are. Make it easy to bring the rest of them down. The problem is no one's seeing who's doing it. Hey, darling, are you going to eat all that or do you want to dance? Well, if you're doing the asking, I think I want to dance. <laughs> Okay, Dad, you're next. And then you again. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's nice, isn't she? She's real nice.
Who started that, don't oh, you? Oh, Dad, probably. <laughs> he's the unusual guy, isn't he? <laughs> he says the same thing about you. In fact, he says you've got him a little buffalo, Jim. <laughs> well, that's what happens when a man wants a son and gets a daughter. Oh, come on. I can't imagine him really being disappointed with you. No, he isn't disappointed in me. He loves me. I know that. We've had some pretty good fights, though. You know, he didn't like the idea at first when I got married, but he hated it when I got divorced. Oh, really? Why is it? Oh, he and my mom worked real hard most of their lives putting that ranch together. He wanted nothing more in the world than to see that handed down to us. I guess I could run it myself if I wanted to, but I just don't want to. What do you want to do? I want to go to Paris. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just want to be crazy. I want to be Tina Turner. I don't suppose you'd mind telling me what on earth Tina Turner is going to do in this round. <laughs> it's my chance to to be the son my father always wanted. I guess I'm really doing this for him. That's nice. It's been a long time since I stayed out all night long on a date. You know how long it's been since I've had a date. Morning, Matt. Morning, sunshine. I don't look for you after the party. I was there. I was on the front porch with Daryl. I mean, after the party. Two hours after. Daryl will become quite an item. You know, Dean, I don't need this from you. No, really, the guys think it's cute. You, you went out with your daughter? Daughter. Come on, Matt. Just between you and me, don't you think she's a little young for you? I think she's a lot young. I'm a lot married. Besides, nothing happened. Not yet. Not yet. Hey, partner. That's what they call it the Wild West. Oh, 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 oh! 
Cowboys and Indians out here. Got cowboys and fools out here. Yes, yes, that's right, Senator Hutgard. We lost about a hundred head. We'll get them back, though. Don't worry. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you on Friday. Right. You got to make up for that fiasco yesterday. Yeah. Let me go kill that stallion. Forget about him. I want those horses back, and I want a whole lot more, and I want them a lot faster than we're getting them. Can you do it? Yeah, but it'll cost. Fine. Now, now there are some old corrals down on Hawk Meadow. I want you to use those. Too many people snooping around. I want those horses kept away from here. What about Matt Cooper? That Reese girl and the kid. Who's gonna keep them out of Hawk Meadow? Let me worry about them. You just worry about getting me the horses I need. And I don't care how you do it. Right. It wouldn't help if you sent five people with me. You could be right, Matt, but it really doesn't matter. You see, I don't care if you catch the horse. Just as long as you keep them on the move so we don't have any more incidents like we had yesterday. Look, if I go chasing one horse, my bonus... I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. I'm the man that decides who does what around here but just as a little extra incentive. There'll be a $500 bonus if you do catch him. Hiking. If I catch him, I'm gonna keep him. If you catch him, he's yours. He is. See him? He just came out of the clearing. Oh, yeah. But we should not get any closer. It's not going to be easy. He knows we're here. He's going higher. Yeah, I would too if I was him and had a couple of tough cowboys like us after me. Yeah. Let's finish this up, boys. Trucks will be here first thing in the morning. See how worried he was about a couple of tough cowboys like us following him, don't you? What are we gonna do? I think our best bet is to we'll circle around below him and drive him back up to us. Okay. I'm leaving you without a chaperone. You're on your own now. Check you later, Hawks. Hey, wait a minute, let me help you with that. Okay. Man's work. What are you doing this for? Oh. Got it? I got it. Sure you got it. I'm sure I got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Skeeter? He's late. He'll be here. Get some horses! 
truly God's country up here, isn't it? Sure is. Let's see why that stallion hates to leave. <laughs> says the cowboys are having a lot of fun at our expense. They're calling us the old man and his daughter. Oh, Matt. Don't let them get to you. Come on, you know how cowboys are. If they're not part of it, they're against it. Half those guys are still living somewhere in the 1880s. Bunch of little boys and men's bodies. I wouldn't let them hear you call them little boys. They work pretty hard. They're just having fun. You know, sometimes you remind me so much of my dad. Now you're going to start on me, too. Do me a favor, pick on them and leave me alone. <laughs> That's not what I meant. It's just that he's always taken up for the cowboy, too. What do you suppose your dad would think about us? He wouldn't think anything. This has nothing to do with him. This is between you and me. sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, especially when you need it. Yeah. Can't tell you how many times we've had to pray for it back home. Matt, can I ask you a question? The other night, you said we've been in Texas 10 years, and now it's we've prayed for rain. What exactly constitutes we? Well, in my case, five. You have three kids? No. I have four wives. <laughs> Given the choice, I'd prefer the three kids. <laughs> I have a 12-year-old daughter who's absolutely heartbroken that she's not 18 and dating Bruce Springsteen. 
then there's Matt, who ropes every girl at school because he heard his dad did that. <laughs> I have a five-year-old bank robber who goes nowhere without both his guns. Sounds like the perfect family. Yeah, it's perfect. Unless you happen to be the wife who gets a phone call from her husband that says he's on the road to a wild horse roundup. The almost perfect family, then. You know, Daryl, the two most important things in my life have always been desire and ability. And it's a pretty frightening thing when you wake up one morning and realize they're both gone. Matt, what are you talking about? You're a world champion. No. I'm an ex-world champion. And there's a big difference. And there's nothing more pathetic than an ex-anything. Yes, there is. That's an ex-champion who's feeling sorry for himself. I'm not really feeling sorry for myself. But I am very, very confused right now. And I'll tell you something, young lady. Hmm. Being here with you does not make matters any better. Yeah, we're taking these cattle from El Paso up to the railhead at Abilene. Now, it ain't the rain to get you so much as the snow. Last week, we had snow up to a horse's belly.
I've raised many a cold on this evaporated milk. I expect you'll do just the fine. It's going to take him a while to get used to. Why? Well, well. He goes out after the stallion and comes back with an orphan baby. Give him quite a hand, kid. Hey! I had to kill his mother because of you. Whoa, kid. You're talking to the wrong guy. Wrong guy? Who's his this, then? I don't see my name on him. I suppose it's just a coincidence that most of the horses you bring here are bloodied or limping or run half the day. Kid, death. you don't know half of what's going on around here. You didn't have to use tripwires. I was hired to bring in horses, and I'm getting the job done. Sorry I can't be like one of your cowboy movies. Will you look at that? No, no. Hey, it's Mac! Man, I don't believe it. He's got the stallion. I don't believe it. All, all the time. Hey, let's go, man. Good work, son. Bring him on in here, man. Easy. Easy. Look, come in here. Good looking horse, man. Where you headed? Get him on down. I didn't think anybody catch you. Hey, he looks like he took quite a beat. Boy, did he ever. I think you better come along. Hey, Blue, make, make sure my cold is brought down. Yo, you be there. How many have we got? There's 300 head here. Another 100 at the main corrals and 100 our own at the fairgrounds. In addition to the adoptees? That's right. Great. I need 500 horses delivered by noon tomorrow. That's my deal. And I need an extra $2,500 to deliver them. That's my deal. We already agreed on a price. Oh, that was for a transplant program. I know these horses aren't being transplanted. They're being sold. You make money, I make money. Simple. If you have them there by noon, you'll get your money. See you guys a little later, okay? Hey, also, what's going on? Everything's okay. I just want to check on the stallion. Hey, check on my coat, will you? Sure. <laughs> Look at this place. Partner, we got all the makings of a great night. Well, Dean, I don't want to cramp your style. I'm going to go with Matt. Right. See ya. Later. Excuse me, Miss. Uh, you wouldn't by any chance happen to be a nurse, would you? So what were you going to do? Um, just get in your truck and drive off into the sunset and never deal with this? That's really unfair. Have you been happy up here? Happier than I've been in a long time. Well, then what is your hurry to leave? Matt, this has been a wonderful two weeks. There's a big difference between 14 years and 14 days. For the most part, my marriage has been pretty good. Well, then what are you doing here with me? <laughs> now, you don't know how you feel about me. You don't know how you feel about your wife. You're ready to drive off to you don't even know where. I mean, when was the last time you made a commitment? I don't know. 
But I do know that for the most part, my life has been filled with crossroads. Recently, I've made some pretty bad turns. I've learned a lot about myself in the last two weeks and my priorities. God knows I've laughed more with you than I've laughed in a long time. You know something, Matt? I think you've been spending too much of your life in the past. You gotta move on with it. Can't always be good times. Remember that if you should decide to go home. You'd be tied up, sure. As a matter of fact, I was. Hey, what about my clothes? You see? I would be saw him load him. He's got to be here somewhere. I can't find him. I see him. I'll let you know. Come on, come you in there! Move him! Hell, I'm running down off the mountain fast, and you guys can load him in the trucks. We got some beautiful animals. Here we go, right off the bat. A beautiful big brown bear. She make a fine saddle horse. I don't know where he is. Can't find him either. I'm gonna check out those trucks. Hey, shoot! Hey, Ted, where are the horses that came in last night? None came in. Oh, I saw them load two trucks at 10 o'clock. No, the gates were locked at dark. Nothing else came in. I was here all night. Hey, Bill. Yeah. Ted said no horses came in here at dark. Well, we saw them long last night. The guy at the truck says those horses are for some transplant program. What transplant program? Says Mr. Hiking told him to... Hike? Yeah, son, you can't trust him. Well, they're pulling out right now. Well, I don't know about any transplant program, but I do know one thing. Not one single horse is supposed to leave these grounds without two weeks quarantine. Careful. This should be good watch. What do you think? Sounds like fun. Let's get my pick up. the alley. We'll catch him downtown. All right. Stolen horses, you better get down. I didn't know anything about that. Could have just told me to stop. 
Yeah, that wouldn't have been any fun. It's not your fight. Hey, Matt! Look at this. Hudgard Meatpackers. Is that Senator Hudgard? I'm afraid so. Rodeo, you boys got going here. The one we hadn't counted on, that's for sure. Seems like hiking had plans for these horses we knew nothing about. Look what's coming here. What the hell do you think you're doing? Shutting down your operation. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny Day Motel, and the horses are in Hawk Meadow. We'll take care of Ike. If I can drive this semi, we'll get the horses too. Oh, yeah. I'll pick up the stay and I'll meet you out there. Hey! What the oh, hell do you think you're doing? Get out of here! These people. Oh, my God. You didn't. This is a government operation. You tampered with a government operation and you're gonna pay for this. You're getting ready to find out what a government operation is. What are you talking about? You and Senator Huttgard are diverting horses. They're public property and you're selling them for your own personal gain. This is your fault, Ward. I'm holding you personally responsible. I told you to stay out of it. This is my jurisdiction now. You're retired. Well, you are, you know. Oh, oh, I wish I'd have done that. Is it all right? It hurt my finger. I'm so glad we did that. 
Well, what are you going to do now, dear? Go to Paris? <laughs> Maybe. You want to change your mind and come with me? <laughs> I can't imagine me in Paris with Tina Turner. What about it, Matt? What are you going to do? I'm going to do something I should have done a long time ago. I'm going to buy that ranch. I'm going to make a commitment. Good for you. Hey, Dee! We got my coal. We got your stay. What do you say, partner? Time to hit the road? Not yet. What's he doing? I think I know. Sent me down here to look after you. He'll take me back there whenever I'm through. So run on, run on, run on. Wild horses run on. I saw a stallion ran like the wind. Finally caught him, but never again. He's got a spirit that needs to be free. So much about him is what I'd like to be. Run on. Run on. Run on. Wild horses run on. Run on. 